The number of wounded is increasing, and we realize that the project for an innovative rehabilitation center, the 4.5.0 base in X Park, which we founded in 2015, requires rapid expansion. Because the existing facilities are no longer sufficient to accommodate all the wounded defenders who need rehabilitation. We quickly commissioned the project for a new, unique rehabilitation center for the wounded on the water, right on this marshy spot behind me. In 2019, we had an ambitious dream to create something unique and innovative, a water-based rehabilitation center with water sports activities, kind of Maldives for injured heroes. Everyone asks a fair question. Why is the pro-government deputy Aristotle during the war indulging in five-star hotels on the Maldives, while injured heroes have to settle for Soviet-era, shabby sanatoriums, and pre-revolutionary hospitals? And even those are catastrophically insufficient. Wounded defenders have returned from war, but they can't return to their lives. The psychological trauma of disability and loss of capability, combined with shell shock and PTSD, push them into apathy, suicidal thoughts, and depression, which is often wounded individuals try to drown in alcohol or even more frighteningly in drugs. Many get the impression that the disabled are not needed by the state and society. Since 2003's park was built without a single penny of state funds, has never received any support from the authorities, neither during the pandemic, nor at the beginning of the war, nor during blackouts and flooding. Therefore, for rehabilitation, we have invested our own funds and volunteer resources funds and foreign patrons who are willing to help. Many large foreign corporations are not willing to fund weapons due to pacifist policies companies. But they are willing to support humanitarian programs, hospitals, and equipment for the wounded. Since 2015, in the 4.5.0 project, we have deeply encountered veterans' issues. Essentially, they fall into two categories. The first one named active. They are ready to compete in events with serious demands in the games of the unconquered and world championships in various sports, including wakeboarding and wake surfing. But the second, larger group of especially severely injured individuals need a lighter version of active leisure and recreation. They tell me, Zozulia, we have already suffered and are struggling with the consequences of our injuries and limitations. It's hard for us to participate in intense competitions. We want social interaction, light active leisure. Even just swimming in the water is already psychological and physical recovery as well as satisfaction for them. Therefore, for the first group, together with strongmen and federations, we organize events for the unconquered and championships. And for the second group, a lighter version of active leisure with the 4.5.0 team. At the existing locations of Spark, the wounded use inclusive friendly zones, barrier free spaces, water access, access to paddle boards, picnic areas, and fire pits and a stage for guitar parties, patan courts. They are already training in wakeboarding, surfing, paddle boarding, and basketball. We have acquired special chairs for wakeboarding and wake surfing. Also, we have set up spots for summer and winter fishing, saunas, and medical stations. The 
Funding for new locations is needed to expand capacity and to accommodate 200 to 300 wounded individuals at once. In the future, we need to cover the entire X Park, transform it into a barrier-free zone. And at the Maldives location, we need special loader cranes, pools, kayak docks, boats, swimming pools, water hammocks, open-air cinemas, a diving center, underwater hunting facilities, and training halls, psychological workshops, canine therapy, yoga, Pilates, exercise equipment, massage rooms, etc. Especially, the wounded enjoy body drag on a cable, it's a full-body water massage and physical exercise. Therefore, cable systems have become a favorite spot for the wounded, and we plan to install at least two more linear cables exclusively for them. Already now, X Park has a well-developed sports infrastructure around the future project for 190 types of sports. Of these, a third are equipped sports facilities and zones are used for activities for the wounded. It S includes activities like basketball, football, volleyball, a drone center with simulators, a drone range, paintball, a shooting range, table tennis, motorsport, ATVs, bicycles, electric scooters, and more. In winter, we add saunas with ice plunges, aromatherapy, chromotherapy, and sound therapy. Also in winter season, cable cars operate for skiing, snowboarding, tubing, and cross-country skiing, ice rink, slides, and family festivals like the Snowman Battle are also at X Park locations. The whole year 4.5.0 base has quotas for most ticket operators and provides free access to concerts for the wounded and their families, fallen defenders and veterans. Every soldier in the trench, heading into an assault, must be confident that their country will not abandon or forget them when they return wounded. Society will take care of them and create all the conditions for their treatment and rehabilitation. And the people will be grateful, repaying with care and assistance. Separate attention should be given to employment and professional training. From the first days of the war, to support the front, priority must be given to first and foremost. The wounded are cared for by volunteers, civil society, and businesses. Therefore, our community with the leaders of veteran movements initiate and demand legislative measures from the relevant ministries, committees, departments, and parliamentary committees, support, and a moratorium on inspections of rehabilitation centers. Additionally, responsibility and penalties for civil servants who obstruct or block their development. We don't have a regulatory framework, and we don't know how to build rehabilitation centers. And because we are building based on our own limited understanding, they start to interfere. Because how can you develop a project, spend five years coordinating it when a wounded person needs to be admitted tomorrow? Therefore, based on our own limited understanding, we repurpose a water tower and start admitting the wounded there. We demand support and special conditions for the expedited approval of center projects by government institutions, water-based rehabilitation, and tax incentives for patrons. Every power holder must understand that the community of the wounded, veterans and families of the fallen are a powerful force. They are ready to defend their rights alongside civil society. We have to keep in mind that veterans and the wounded are skilled at shooting, operating drones, laying mines, throwing grenades, and killing the enemy. And if they are not provided with proper employment conditions, they will turn to crime. Moreover, officials should avoid provoking them with their arrogance and bureaucracy, hiding from the front lines and the rear, under the protection of lawmakers and law enforcement officials. We are sure that a unique rehabilitation center will emerge here. It will become a model for the development of similar centers across Ukraine. Because the wounded are not only in Kyiv, but in every region, every city, and every village. So let's prove that hero. We need you not only on the battlefield, it's not just a slogan, but a real responsibility of our society towards the wounded heroes. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes.